This is the VSC 9000, our latest uh, piece of equipment in the VSC range. Here we've got the new software interface and we're just going to take you through some of the new features that you can find in this VSC. First one being the image quality and the high magnification. So you can see the image is much sharper. Um, there's no distortions around the edges or the corners of the image. You can see the colors are a lot brighter and sharper. We are not even halfway through the um, highest magnification and you can already see the quality as well. You can uh, detect microprinting or microtext like you can see here. And if I went all the way to the um, highest magnification, which would be 480 times. So this is the highest magnification with um, the screen layout fit to screen. It goes all the way out to 300. If we were to use a different screen layout, which is uh, full resolution, this is the one that will give you 480 times magnification. So you can use this high magnification with no need of a microscope um, to examine things like the quality of the printing, um, the inks, microtext, any alterations or counterfeits, etc. To achieve this magnification, um, there's a supplementary lens in the VSC that goes in front of the camera. Sometimes the highest magnification is not even needed because um, you can also examine the different security features um, at a lower magnification. Um, here you can see, once again, the high quality of the image. Um, you can see much less distortion um, around the corners of the image as well. Um, OCR has also been improved. Um, now you don't need to place the document in a specific location in order to read the MRZ. You can see once you put the document inside the VSC, it automatically detects the MRZ and it reads it. If I try to move it, you can see how it highlights it. So that will save time. And we've got two different types of uh, chip data. So we've got basic access control, which is what we've always had. Now we've added extended access control, which basically gives you more data groups and more information in the chip. Once the MRZ uh, is read correctly, we can go ahead and read the chip. So first of all, I'm going to read the basic access control. So once the MRZ is read, we can place the document in the e-chip reader and press OK. Basic access control will only give you the MRZ in the chip and the e-chip image. That's all that it gives you. But, however, if we read um, the extended access control, you get all these uh, data groups here, and it will highlight the ones that are found in the document you're looking at. So this one, for example, gives you DG1, which is the um, MRZ from the chip. It gives you DG2, which is the image. Um, DG7 is normally the signature, so the digital signature that is found in the passport, and it gives you certain, um, well, it gives you other data groups that can be found here. Every document has different data groups, so not all of them have uh, the same ones. The VSC 9000 has a new function which will generate a report based on um, the information from the passport. So you can change the logo, but this is just an example of what you would obtain. Um, you get all the information from the document, an image from the MRZ. You will get all the ticks or crosses for information from the e-chip. 
and you will also get an image from the chip and an image from the document you're examining. So as you can see, the VSC 9000 um, has a much better image quality, higher magnification and several new, several new features. Um, today we've only scratched the surface, but please join us for next month's uh, webinar, which is going to be specifically in the VSE 9000, and we will cover the rest of the new features.